Hi, it's Saturday 26th of June 2021. This is our last week and our last day. Asking the question, is God in control? And of course the answer this month has been yes, very much. God is in control. He's king. He's sovereign. He knows what he's doing. He has plans and purposes for this world, for your lives. But he's not made us all robot. He's not forcing his plans upon us. He calls us to make choices, to make wise choices, good choices, right choices, to follow his will. And how can we know what choices to make? Well, firstly, by doing what the Bible says. Very clearly, the Bible tells us how to live life. Secondly, by doing what the Holy Spirit says to us, especially when we're looking for very particular advice, his spirit can speak into our hearts and minds. Thirdly, we do what our conscience says, which tells us what is right and wrong. Fourthly, we do what wisdom says, like uh, a, a woman who is walking with us through life, telling us what is wise to do. We listen to wisdom when we make our choices. And lastly, we do what faith says says we do what faith says second corinthians chapter 5 verse 7 says we live by faith we walk by faith not by sight as christians we live by faith we walk by faith and when we make ch decisions and choices we do what is in faith if you're not sure what to do then do something that shows faith and that will never be a wrong choice or an unwise choice. That's how we please God, the Bible says, by living, by acting in faith. We have presented with us choices all the time. Ones which we can make out of being afraid and being anxious and being nervous. And we, we side with that decision, we side with that choice. Or we can have choices which we make, which will show bravery, which will show courage, which will show faith. Those are the choices to make. To live by faith. And we don't always have to see what is going to happen. And that's exactly what this verse says. It says, you know, there are lots of situations in life we do not know the future. In fact, very rarely do we know the future. What will happen if I make this decision as opposed to that decision? You can't tell for certain. You might have an idea. You might have a best guess. But you don't know for sure. If you... If you make an application for this job, is that going to work out for you or not? You can't tell for, for certain. If you change your, your regular shopping to another shop, is it going to be better? Is it going to be worse? You can't know for certain. All kinds of decisions we make, big and small, we don't know the future. We can't see, but we know the one who holds the future, and he is God. And we know that if we make decisions based on faith, that will please God and God will be with us in our future and God will help us with those decisions that we make. And decisions which we make out of faith, they're never going to be wrong decisions. They might not always be the wisest decisions because we actually need to mix wisdom with faith. Sometimes we can make decisions by faith, great decisions of faith, but perhaps it lack wisdom. So we need to mix wisdom with faith. But nevertheless, when we make decisions in faith, whether they are greatly wise or not, they will be decisions which will please God. And God will work with us in those decisions and he will work with us and help us outwork the consequences of those decisions. So how do we know what choices to make in life? We do what the Bible says. We do what the Holy Spirit says. We do what our conscience says. We do what wisdom says. And we do what faith says. And if we do these things, will not go far wrong. God bless you. Speak to you again next month as we enter into our new series and we will review what that is next week.